In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through getting started with Adobe Spark Video. Either go to the blue plus create a project button and choose video, or you can start with the slideshow option on the dashboard. Give it a name. You can start with a template or you can start from scratch. We're gonna start from scratch. You can choose to watch the tutorial or you can click it off and just begin. There are a few options that you have when you're starting. On the left-hand side is your dashboard for your slides and on the right-hand side are options of what you can do with those slides. And it's pretty straightforward. When you begin on your first slide, click on the plus button and you can either begin by adding already created video from your computer. You can add texts. You can add photo. The photos will come up on the right hand side and you can upload photos from your computer or you can find free photos. These pull from Unsplash or Pixabay, which are two high quality sources that are free to use and share. The photos that come out are really beautiful, so students' work really, really shines. You can also change your themes. Over here you find branded themes from the brand that I've added already. And then you have pre-created themes, which are really, really nice. So I'll change it to the dark theme. You can resize either widescreen or square or add music. Again, the music that you are choosing from is Creative Commons free to use and share. Or you can add your own music. So if you create on another website, you can import that as an MP3. Now on each slide, there's this red microphone. When you click on the red microphone, I am a creative. You can add your voice on each slide. And if you don't like it, you can go and click on where the timer shows and remove it. You can add more slides and each slide add different components. So in this case, I'll go back to layout and I'll add a split screen. You can add icons and words. and continue adding slides until you feel you are ready. Once you are ready, you can preview, share, or download. If you share, you publish it, create a category, and create a link. This link can be shared in multiple places. which include Facebook, Twitter, Classroom, email, or they can be embedded. If you are Microsoft School, you can copy the link and share it in your class teams. You can also download the video as an MP4. I'm excited to see what you create. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.